lightning flashed from beyond the throne of the world of possibilities. And from its brilliance, the image of creation appeared. At your command, be, with your coquettish glances and amorous stares, all of this grace and virtue appeared. Less than an instant is the entirety of pre-eternity to post-eternity. Know that all the beginnings and all the approaches to the truth are but a point. To your eyes only is time's duration among the divine decrees. In your thought only do created beings travel through stages. Like a child who builds a castle in the sand, you build creation by your observations. Do not imagine that this toy is real. Do not bind your heart to people's praise and flattery. To the eye of the master of love, the intellect is but a child who, from lack of discrimination, has become caught up in illusion. Burn the pages and wash away the notebooks. All that has been compiled lies far below love's rank. Oh, no bash. Whatever the intellectuals write is but the story of the idols and their temple. The king of love, with his sword of jealousy, must sever the idols' heads and cast them down. We have parted from the people of the intellect and join the company of love. When love's tale was told to us, we recited a requiem for ourselves. When love's banner was unfurled, intellect's standard was cast down. Truth arrived, overthrowing falsehood. Love arrived, unseating the intellect. Love came to reign over the heart's realm. Intellect in shame repented, forsaking its claim. That one who is unconscious of self can never fear another. Annihilated from ourselves, we have been freed from the losses and gains of this world of dust. That one who is drowned in love's ocean sees only the water of unity. In the eyes of the lover, a wrecked heart is worth more than a thousand gardens and orchards. We have God in our heart and delight at the joy there. Before the quill of love was set in motion, our lives were spent in paperwork. Page after page turned black, like separation's somber night from time's events. And still the book of love did not reach its end, though a hundred thousand pages were covered. Measured by the lover's worth, paper's value seemed insignificant like so many leaves in the wind. When love made clear the quill's weakness, in jealousy it washed away whatever had been written. The seeker of the world for its own sake will ever be preoccupied with its fantasies. The ascetic will not resign himself to his fortune. Flustered and restless, he hurries to the hereafter. Sometimes he takes pride in his prayers. Sometimes he takes pleasure in heaven and its hurries. But we have fled from both worlds, awaiting whatever melody the beloved will play. Though like captives we are shackled by the curl of the beloved, through love's jealousy, we are sovereigns.
What a vast difference lies between those who circle the heart within and those who circle the house without. Annihilation of self is the way of the former, the latter endeavor to correct pronunciation. Why persist in arguing with such false pretenders, unaware of the mysteries they will always remain obstinate? If they profess to follow the straight path, why do they go so astray? As long as their eyes see double, they will lack true vision.